Hey everybody, Steven here, and today I'm looking at the Air Pump Pro from Hoto. I reviewed some of their other products. They always have a extremely sleek design when it comes to their products, and this is no exception. This is a portable air pump, and it delivers performance that I'm actually really surprised by here that I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. With this, I'm actually gonna talk about the things that I like up front and then just talk about performance down the road and showcase me actually inflating some various things around my house. But here, this is extremely compact. The fact that it could actually inflate one of your car tires is insane considering the size here. Again, the design overall, very sleek, minimal. I just like what Hoto does with their products here. And to me, the main draw here is going to be the compact size, the versatility, the various things that you can actually inflate with this. And the big draw there being, again, the fact that you could actually inflate a car tire. Here, based off just the battery size, they're saying when fully charged, it can inflate up to 15 underinflated tires, which is, to me, just crazy that they can deliver that type of performance with such a small device. On the downside here, the only thing I really have is the screen is very susceptible to scratch marks. I wish it had a better protective film over it. The tube with this is shorter, but I get what they want here. They want everything to be very compact so it can fit in the travel case. I would say the travel case here, I mean, it's just really a bag. If they had a hard shell case option i think a lot of people would opt to get that just to protect the device so i think that would be something nice to see down the road but overall there's just so much upside with this product and, and looking at the price here this is normally 120 dollars. right now it's on sale for a hundred dollars with another like 15 dollar off discount code that you can use so you can really get this for 85 dollars before shipping which is crazy just because of the versatility here with all that being said though, let's go ahead now and get into the specs. Starting with the dimensions, this is 5.05 inches wide, 7.5 inches tall, and then 2.19 inches deep. After that, we have the product weight. It is about 850 grams. Charging temperature is five degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. Operating temperature is negative 10 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Inflation pressure, 0.2 to 8.3 bar or 3 to 120 PSI. Length of air tube is 700 millimeters, including the American air valve port, excluding the thread. The battery type is a lithium ion battery. Battery capacity is 2,500 milliamps at 27 watt hours. Working noise, about 80 decibels, if you're one meter from the actual product. Rated input, five volts at three amps. Normal voltage, 10.8 volts. And charging time is about three hours. You have five different modes for this. Ball mode, bike mode, motorbike, car mode, and then custom mode here. And it just tells you the range that you have with that in terms of what this is going to try to inflate this to based off the device. Next, we have the list of items that you find with this in the box as well as the recommended pressure for various items so these are going to relate to the various modes that this has with it but starting at the top here we have the american air tube french valve adapter conversion air valve inflation needle quick connection valve adapter the usb type c charging cable and then the storage bag i'm not going to cover all the numbers here but we have the product category bicycle motorbike automobiles balls then it's gonna, based off that category, potentially give you various items that you may have for balls, basketballs, footballs, etc., or the different size of tire when we're looking at bicycles. Then it's going to give you the recommended pressure with that device. The only thing I have noticed with this list that's throwing me off a little bit, for tires, it's T-Y-R-E-S. I don't know if that's just a typo or maybe it's spelled like that somewhere else outside of the US but that is there but it's obviously still just a tire it's just spelled differently last we're gonna have the air pump and then the air pump pro and the time it would take to inflate just the list on the side here and that goes from car tires mountain bikes motorcycle and then the basketball here biggest thing that i noticed with this it is also giving somewhat of a range like hey what's the psi range although it's saying approximate it's kind of a little bit of a range here with this because the tire 
does have potentially a subtle sizing difference. But in general, looking at this, especially when it comes more to like a basketball, I found that this is relatively spot on. Of course, I can't test all of these. I don't have a motorcycle or a mountain bike, for instance. I just have a regular bike. But here, I do want to note the difference between the regular air pump and then the pro version here. It is more powerful, so you are seeing a reduction in time. Next, we're going to look at the physical features here. So you have the power slash mode button on the front. Hold this, turns it on. If you press it, it changes the mode. They do have an icon to let you know which mode you are in. With this, that turn dial allows you to adjust the PSI. We'll look at the side here in a second. That's where you could adjust this to the three different air pressure settings. Here though, notice that it went from 120 PSI and then it can go all the way down to three PSI. Next to this, we have the LED light button. So I do like the fact that it has that on there in case it's dark, you're needing to inflate a tire on the side of the road in the middle of the night. So you have that there just to help out a little bit. So on the right hand side, this is where you can adjust this. So we have bar, PSI, PKA, and then notice that you have the USB type C input so you can recharge this. Also at the very top, we have just that rubber handle. So it has a grip to it. So you can hook this onto something if you needed to, or just simply hold on to it. So here's another angle on that. It's not large in size and it doesn't adjust. So do keep that in mind. Here we can see the LED light. You can also see the air pump port here or where you're actually going to plug in or screw in the air tube. And then we have openings on various sides of the device. I'm assuming this is for heat dissipation, but also for drawing in or kind of pushing out air. So we'll see this on the left hand side. I won't showcase the bottom, but it also has another area where it looks like it's either sucking in or just pushing out air. Last on the back here, it does change texture. We get these raised rubber parts, these strips on the outside. So when you lay it on its back, it's not going to scuff up and damage the main portion or the main body of the device. So looking at the first thing, and it's the thing I'm most impressed with that this can do, it's inflating a car tire. So just the fact that it can do that is to me a major selling point, being able to have this in the car. If there's ever an issue, you get to inflate your tire and it can do it multiple times like it described just based off the battery size. The tube length was another concern that I had. I thought it may be a little too short, but no, it's just the right size. I could see some people wanting a longer tube and you could actually just order the longer tube size off the internet, just making sure that it has the correct sizing and threading here. So I am going to do a sound test here in a minute. Unfortunately, it's just the built-in camera microphone so it's not the best but it should give you an idea of what this sounds like default psi settings for all of these you may like them or not here for cards 36 i like mine at 39 but with that being said let's do this quick sound test So it's loud, it's not horrible, but obviously it's going to make some noise here. A couple things I noticed, one, it vibrates a lot. So if you put this down, it actually moves all over the place. Even if you put it on the back with the kind of raised rubber strips that it has on it, it's still going to actually move. Total time this took was about 50 seconds to just get this from roughly 36 to 39 here. Incredibly impressed with sizing and the fact that it can do that still i'm still blown away here the only thing that got hot on this was kind of the beginning portion of the tube nothing else actually got hot but if i use this a bunch i would suspect that it may get a little bit warm overall looking at the two footballs here this actually took like four or five seconds so extremely impressed with this as well. So if you have kids in sports or maybe you have a facility where you do have to inflate a lot of footballs, basketballs, volleyballs, things like that, this could be a lifesaver for you just based off the fact that it's only going to take that four or five seconds to inflate that item. I'm gonna shift over here in a second to a regular bike. There it said for the PSI, it recommends 45. It started to feel like it was a little bit too inflated. So I actually paused it, which is another cool thing here is if you're inflating this and you're a little worried, something may be going wrong, 
click that button, it pauses it. Then I went back and checked and then 45 was the right amount here, but it just was nice that I had that option to be like, hey, stop, cancel, and then just immediately resume when I push that button again. If you have a road bike, you will need an adapter. Here, I was hoping I could get away from potentially needing that, but just because of the actual valve on the end, it didn't quite work. So that is going to be the Presta to Schrader valve adapter. Once I get that, which I've been putting off for a long time, then it will be easy. I can use the same adapter that you use on a regular bike or your car tire to actually inflate that. So this device, I am very impressed with this. This is going to be one great at the house for and using with the bikes, inflating those tires, any of the basketballs, footballs, just sports items that we need to inflate. In the summer, I'm actually going to be using this to inflate our water slide. It has the inflatable bumpers on the side. If you have an inflatable bed, potentially this could actually work with that. There's just one, a large amount of versatility, but two, the speed here, how compact this is, just a lot of upside. The other big thing is going on trips, we will be taking this with us. So we have this to inflate those tires if there's ever an emergency. So huge thumbs up from me. That's gonna be it for this one. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section. I will make sure to answer that for you there. If you want to pick this up, I will have a link for that in the description as well as that Presta to Schrader valve adapter. So if you do have a road bike like me, you can use this with that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button for me as it helps the channel out. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.